Hi folks, this is Brian Dar with another edition of XBM's Expedited Explanations. These are short videos that help you maximize the value of Atlassian tools. And today I'm going to show you how to create custom notifications from Jira workflows. The use case for this is when you want to notify a certain set of users or groups on a given transition, as opposed to notifying um, them for every transition within a workflow. Uh, that's how a standard notification scheme would work. So in this case, for example, um, let's say that I want to notify an accounting group when a particular issue is ready for billing. Or in the software world, if I want to notify a product owner when a particular issue is ready um, to be accepted or not. So to do that, uh, we're going to work in, in a couple of different places within um, Jira's setup. But we're going to start here on my Brian test project test workflow. And it's a very simple workflow from open to closed. And first, I'm going to click on Edit. And I'm going to click on the Close Transition. And from there, I'm clicking on Post Functions. So over here in Post Functions, what we see at the bottom is a generic event is getting fired at the end of this transition. So Jira. Whenever you transition from one status to another, it does a lot of these things. It's, it sets the linked status, it adds a comment, it re-indexes the issue, and then it fires an event. And the event gets picked up, and then from that, users get notified. So how do users get notified from a generic event? Well, actually, before I go and show you that, let me show you something that you might not expect. I can click Edit. And I can change the event that gets fired on that transition. And this, this may surprise you. Um, I, I know it surprised me. In this particular um, transition, I could fire an issue deleted event instead of a generic event. That's kind of weird. Um, it'll make more sense uh, once we look at the standard Jira workflow, though. So if I come to workflows, and if I come down to the um, to the Jira workflow, I made a copy down here so I can edit it so we can look at the post functions. If I click on diagram, you'll, if you click around the standard Jira workflow, you'll actually see that none of these transitions have uh, generic events associated with them. So for example, this, this uh, start progress transition, uh, it fires a work started on issue event. And this close issue transition it fires an issue closed event. So notifying users on a closed issue only happens if you decide to add this particular event to a particular transition in a workflow. Now, how do users get notified on these events? Well, let's see, let me, let me close these other tabs. All right, uh, I'm gonna come to the notification scheme section. So if we, if we go to the top and click on issues and scroll down to notification schemes. And from here, I'm gonna look at the default notification scheme. This is the one that, you, that you're used to seeing. Um, in case you're not sure how notification schemes work, basically it's a series of events on the left and then a series of people, groups, or roles to be notified on the right. And then when you attach this notification scheme to a particular project, uh, whenever anything happens in a given project, these users get notified. So for example, when, it, when an issue created event is fired, the current assignee, the reporter, and all watchers will be notified. And earlier on my issue deleted example, actually the same people are going to be notified. And then um, down here, there's this one called generic event. And if you've ever made a workflow, this is the event that shows up on all transitions um, out of the box, except the create transition. So let's go see what that looks like. Uh, if I come back to workflows and then click on my BTP test workflow diagram. And back to open and closed, I click on post functions. And I'm going to go ahead and change that issue deleted back to a generic event. All right. So now this workflow is behaving as any other 
um, custom workflow that a, that a user would make. What I want to do, though, is I want to create a custom event called billing. And then in my notification scheme, I'm going to notify the accounting group when the billing event is fired. So how do I make a custom event? Well, uh, I can come to system. Close that other tab and scroll down on the left side to events under advanced. And then down here at the bottom, uh, I can make a new event. So I'm going to say billing. Oops. And then uh, you have to select an, an email template. This doesn't really matter all that much. Um, I'm going to base it on a generic event. So now in my system, I've got all of my system events. And I have this, this other event that you, that you can ignore for right now. And I have my brand new billing event that is currently not being used. So next, I need to go to my notification schemes. And I need to say who is going to be notified on a billing event for my project. So click on BTP notification scheme, click on notifications. And you'll see here uh, this this project has no notifications coming out of it right now, except for this custom notification, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, that's, that's the advanced version of, of what we're doing right now. But here's my billing event. And for my project, on the billing event, I want to notify the current assignee. And I want to notify the reporter. And I want to notify all of the watchers of a particular issue because this is a standard transition. But for this one tra uh, transition, I also want to notify my, my accounting group. So now whenever a billing event is fired in a project that is using this particular notification scheme, the, the accounting group, along with these other standard people, is going to be notified. Um, also keep in mind that they will only be notified if they have permissions to see the issue that, that is being transitioned. That's also important. Oh, and if you're testing this yourself, make sure that you turn on uh, in your profile. I'll, I'm going to click over here and show you that really quick. Uh, if you come to profile, and if you scroll down here uh, and click on edit, you're going to want to see, um, where is it? Uh, oh, my changes. Yeah. Uh, make sure that you get notified on my changes or you, or you won't be able to test this very well. All right. So uh, back to my workflows. I'm going to jump there by just saying GG and going to workflows. This is a great administrative shortcut. GG, go to something, and then type workflows. And it'll take you straight to the workflow section. I'm going to click edit on my workflow. Back to diagram. Click on close, post functions. And now I'm going to change the generic event to a billing event. And then publish my workflow. Don't forget to do that or you'll be wondering why it's not working. And that's it. Um, I don't have notifications turned on on this particular uh, instance. So unfortunately, I can't show you that it works. But um, trust me that uh, in this situation, for the, for the uh, transition that I was working on, it's going to fire a billing event and that the notification scheme is going to pick up that special billing event and is also going to notify the accounting group because of that notification scheme. All right, so that's the simple way to do this. Uh, it's very specific to accounting. And you could go through and make a series of events in your system called billing and uh, product owner review and whatever else you want to make. However, I think it'd be much more fun to make, excuse me, uh, to make a generic set of events that can notify anybody in a given transition. So to do that, we're going to make two custom fields and we're going to make another custom event. And then we're also going to use um, an add-on called Jira Miscellaneous Workflow Extensions to set some post functions that we can't set with Jira out of the box. And we're going to take a look at that in our next video, part two. See you over there.